Hello, everyone. Good morning. This is Kelvin Lai from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Um, thank you, um, Phoenix and, and Green Council, to inviting me to um, give a presentation and share with you all about how CHK is helping to build a sustainable community. Um, before further ado, let me start the uh, our presentation and then we're going to have a discussion on um, various topics on uh, sustainable development. Yes. Uh, over the next uh, uh, over the next 15 minutes or so, I will um, give a quick overview on the topics mentioned in the slide. First of all, I will um, give a quick snapshot about CEO Chase, and then uh, I will introduce our sustainability policy. Uh, there's an overarching policy that our sustain sustainable development work, and then I will introduce. Um, um, SDSN Hong Kong, which helped to uh, promote sustainable development in Hong Kong. And finally, I will give uh, some examples on how the university helped to um, fulfill SDG 11. Um, CUHK uh, in numbers, here I'll give you some um, interesting numbers about CUHK. First of all, um, we have uh, more than um, 30,000 uh, people on campus, including about 27,000 uh, students on campus, as well as over 8,000 staff. And we have uh, the largest campus in uh, among the universities in Hong Kong, and the area is 137 hectares, which is equivalent to about 0.1% of the uh, Hong Kong area. And the campus has a gross floor area of about 730,000 square meter. And on campus, there are about 170 buildings uh, covering various usage, including teaching, laboratory, administration, libraries, hostels, spots, and amenities. Now, let me uh, give a quick uh, uh, overview about our sustainability policy, which um, guide our work on sustainable, sustainable development. Um, the university uh, launched this policy in 2012, and um, under the policy, uh, the university is committed to, among others, to build a sustainable campus by integrating sustainability in planning and daily operations, which is um, uh, mentioned in our campus master plan developed in 2009. And at the same time, the university is committed to provide leadership in sustainability so as to enhance the well beings of the um, wider world community. In order to uh, promote sustainable development among uh, 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 Hong Kong people, um, the university joined hands with the uh, Hong Kong Jockey Club Charities Trust to um, set up the Hong Kong chapter of Sustainable Development Solutions Network, SDSN Hong Kong. SDSN is a United Nations initiative since 2012, and now there are uh, about uh, 40 chapters worldwide, and the Hong Kong chapter uh, was launched in 2018. One of the objectives of SDSN Hong Kong is to raise the awareness of and localize the SDGs that are uh, most relevant to Hong Kong, including SDG 11. Now, um, let me uh, introduce uh, our university efforts on uh, achieve, in achieving SDG 11 with some examples in the following slides. SDG 11 is about cities, sustainable cities and communities. So um, we all know that there are more and more people uh, living in city rather than rural areas in different parts of the world. Um, in CHK, as a leader in sustainability in higher education sector, we um, strive to to create safe, resilient, and sustainable community through various approaches, including promoting intrusive and sustainable urbanization, supporting local arts and cultural activities, and adopting sustainable practices in building standards, commuting, and accommodation on campus. And I will elaborate on this um, uh, in the following slides. First of all, um, cultural uh, uh, diversity and intrusion. Um, Culture, uh, intru uh, diversity intrusion, uh, CUHA embraced uh, culture, uh, diversity intrusion, and we have uh, established the diversity and intrusion policy this year. And um, 
we have many uh, students and staff coming from different cultures and jurisdictions, and we encourage cultural exchanges among them. And uh, regarding intrusion, uh, here are some examples that uh, we uh, uh, put on, on this aspect. For example, the left photo showing uh, a visually impaired student. Uh, and uh, he is uh, welcome and allowed to use guard dogs to uh, uh, navigate and walk around the campus. And the, the, what, the photo in the middle show that there is a ram. This is the uh, very free access. Most of our buildings on campus are very free access so that uh, people can use it uh, and access to, uh, to the building without any problem. Promote cultural uh, and art events among the local community. Here are some posters of the events, cultural events, uh, that uh, arts event that uh, we carry out over the past few years. And um, we have a, a major venue called Shur Roman Show Hall that uh, is, uh, they have uh, conduct various um, uh, cultural and, and arts event, not only for our campus community, but also for, uh, for the uh, general public in Hong Kong, and most of the events are actually uh, uh, free of charge. Museums and galleries. We have uh, many museums and galleries open to uh, public, and uh, one of the examples that I'm, I'm showing here is the Jockey Club Museum of Climate Change, shown on the left part of the slide. Um, the Jockey Club Museum of Climate Change, or simply called MOCC, um, established in 2013 that provide um, various creative and innovative uh, uh, exhibitions, trainings, workshops, eco-tours um, for the general public so as to raise their awareness on the climate change, change impacts and also to um, encourage them to make positive change in order to protect the environment and become a climate leader. Um, CHK has a large campus but it also has a green campus over 60% um, of our campus are vegetated with such a green and open space we are also open not only for our campus community but also for um, the general public so for example the uh, the photo show on the left and the middle uh, i was taken from um, um, to the chongqi college one of the college colleges uh, in the CHK and Chongqi College is just next to the University MCR station, which is fairly convenient for general public to gain access to it. And a, and a, and a photo here on the right is our University Mall on the central campus. It's also one of the hot spots, I would say, for, for, for um, people to go and enjoy the, uh, the uh, weekend. Um, now we are uh, under the COVID-19 pandemic and in order to uh, maintain social distancing, we uh, carry out our uh, learning and teaching facility, uh, activities uh, online for this term. And for our colleagues, in order to protect uh, their health and safety, we also encourage them to work from home. But this doesn't prevent us from doing our innovative uh, research and, um, and teaching. Say so actually, for example, um, over the past few months, our renowned professors and academics uh, had done some um, talks and seminar, not only for our uh, campus community, but also for general public. They shared their knowledge and expertise on various subjects uh, with the uh, general public. And for our colleagues, uh, in order to en enhance their work, uh, work efficiency while they are working at home, our IT department spent no efforts in enhancing the IT infrastructure so that they can still maintain uh, a smooth um, access to file resources and other information, even they're working uh, from home. Natural heritage protection. Um, CUHK, uh, our campus is not only for our students and staff, but also is a home for many plant and animal species. We um, over the past few years, we have done a lot of developments in order to cope with uh, the increased teaching and research needs. So um, we have some uh, new building developed, but this doesn't mean that we need to compromise our, our um, 
uh, animals uh, living on uh, plants living on this uh, on this campus. For example, this is a, a, a house with a colony at the university library. They have been uh, living in, uh, in the university library for quite some time in in, in the roof. And during the uh, expansion of the university library over the past few years, we uh, took much effort in protecting uh, a household economy such that they won't be they wouldn't be impacted but at the same time we continue our construction so it is to strike a balance uh, uh, between uh, campus development and natural heritage protection green buildings we spend no efforts in um, develop uh, green buildings and uh, in a sustainability policy we are also committed to uh, develop new buildings that meet uh, the highest level of the green building standards. And our green building efforts has been recognized in many uh, uh, very renowned international uh, competition. And our, our colleagues' efforts are well recognized. Uh, in terms of commuting, um, because uh, of the of the elevation of CHU campus, some uh, relatively low or some on, on a high up on the hill. And we have to use some kind of public transport like shuttle bus to connect people from uh, one location to another. But at the same time, we also want to um, uh, reduce our vehicular transport needs so as to reduce our carbon footprint. So uh, we also developed some cycling track in some uh, area of our campus and to encourage our staff and students to, um, to go there by taking uh, by cycling. This not only reduce our carbon footprint, but also keep their body health and also um, they can enjoy the um, nice and beautiful campus while um, they're cycling. Another aspect is to enhance our campus walkability. Um, we have many buildings on campus, some on, on high up on the hill, some uh, near the, uh, the central campus, uh, some near uh, uh, the university MTR station. And in order to um, enhance the uh, campus walkability, we, um, when we develop the buildings, we uh, try to connect them with um, bridges, stairways, um, elevators, Etc. So as to allow people to comfortably and and easily to navigate from one building to another without uh, the need to take uh, vehicular transport. And this will also um, uh, make the people healthy. We do more exercise while they're walking. In uh, in addition, we also um, um, uh, launch a uh, campus-wide sustainability engagement program called Walk for Green uh, a few years ago. This is a program that we set up some card readers in various locations on campus. When um, uh, our staff or students uh, walk from one location to another location, they just tap their staff or, or student ID card on the card reader and then gain some points. And when they accumulate a certain number of points, then they will be recognized as a green walker. And we will, um, provide some small prices to them and also um, uh, recognize the effort by each a, 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 an E certificate. And this has received um, a very good um, response on, on in this program. Last but not the least, uh, accommodation. We have uh, such a uh, big uh, campus community. So we have also uh, built uh, many student hostels as well as staff quarters for our students and staff respectively. And these accommodation uh, provide, uh, the, these are affordable but quality uh, accommodation so that um, our students and staff can enjoy their, their uh, life while they're on campus. That's all for my presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, happy to um, have any uh, questions and comments from, uh, from you guys. Thank yeah. you very much. I th thank you, Kevin. Yeah, and I have some question for you is um, to support to support a a sustainable campus. Um, it usually incur some some higher cost of investment, like 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 for example, 
uh, green building or you, you need to and, and, and also maintain 60% of your green space and also to protect those kind of natural heritage or incur some additional costs. And, 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 and we do understand sustainable decision might incur trade-offs. How do you get your stakeholder support? Mm, you're right. Um, but think how we um, tackle this uh, or respond to this question from this expert. Um, CUK as a um, socially responsible institution of higher education, we are um, we are committed to um, um, use our resources that meet the needs of the um, uh, current generation without uh, compromising the needs of the future generation. So if we um, invest some money on, on development of green buildings, then the buildings will be more energy efficient. That means they will use less energy, consume less natural resources, and with, uh, with a lower carbon footprint. In that case, they will leave more resources for our future generation. So our investment now is actually for our future generation. With this justification, I believe our, uh, our campus community will be more than happy to support this um, uh, investment uh, on sustainable, sustainable, sustainable development now. Yeah, in fact, I, 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 like, I quite like your workability. Yeah, because nowadays some, some building, they do build a lot of um, escalator using a lot of power. Instead, you still try to maintain a lot of uh, workability for the student, that for your community, that that's very good. Yeah. Yes, I think this is a very good uh, initiative uh, for our students and staff because we. I think most people will think that we are using a uh, shuttle bus to connect people from one uh, location to another, but um, at the same time, we also encourage them to uh, to be healthy. So, uh, and a sustainable community we also need to ensure the healthy. Uh, healthiness of the of the people. So I think with more exercise, they can uh, walk on the campus. That will also help them to uh, improve their body health, while can also reduce the carbon footprint. Uh, okay, thank you. I I I do believe you mentioned already there are increasing uh, number of students from different culture and nationality, like like the students from mainland or some minority group. How do you how do you build a community to address their cultural needs? Yeah, because their culture might might difference. Yeah, true. You're right. Um, yes, we are having more students from uh, different cultures and jurisdictions, and um, our uh, we we embrace uh, um, diversity and inclusion. And um, I think one of the approaches that we help to tackle or, or address the, the, the cultural needs and concerns is through our uh, student association. We have, uh, uh, as, have many student associations for overseas students as well as, say, for mainland Chi uh, Chinese students. And we work with these student associations, these are student run associations, and we work with them to develop some uh, activities and program like um, orientation activities, uh, cultural exchange events, so that the, the over, uh, overseas student can um, mingle with a local student and to, um, and to um, help to uh, bring them a sense of belongings uh, to um, our local community. But at the same time, this uh, uh, student association also provide a, a, a channel for them to collate uh, views and concerns from, from their members. And then they will um, share these views and concerns to our administrative units. And we work together to um, um, help to address their, uh, their concerns and needs. And I believe this will help to um, um, address their uh, concerns and make, uh, develop a, a, a sustainable community. Okay. Uh -huh. I think I, I do find that you have the um, climate change museum, which I, I believe you want to promote climate change to the public and also to the student. And, and you also have a lot of uh, cultural arts uh, uh, demonstration or, or some exhibition and some show. 
And but nowadays most of the young younger guy, a young student, maybe they they have time. They try to play PlayStation, play the online game, or to have a karaoke, or to have a different type of uh, gathering. Instead of going to the museum, going to see those kind of a cultural show,、uh, uh, it's very good to 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 bring、uh, different value to student. But but is it is it challenging or how 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 could is it successful and how how you can in、uh, change the mindset? Yeah.、Um, yes. We nowadays. The students will have、uh, various interests, I would say, but、um, I think instead of just give them the information one way, we're more doing it from an interactive way. Say, for example,、um, our Museum of Climate Change has an ambassador program for students. This is a, a program that allow our outstanding CHK students to work as the intern, and we provide.、Um, Training on、uh, sustainability knowledge, climate change, how to run a museum, etc., etc., and in return, they need to、um, take the lead to、um, um, take active participate, active participation, active particip participation in a museum operation, and、um, have to、um, undertake some、uh, experiential learning, of course, with some guidance, in order to、um, contribute what they learn.、Um, To、uh, not only on campus but also off campus, and we believe that this kind of interaction will provide a great opportunity for students、uh, to learn not only during their their study time in CUHK but also help to develop their、uh, future career path after graduation. I think through this、um, involvement and again, or I would say engagement, this will、um, uh, help to、um, raise the awareness of a student and and.、Um, On climate change knowledge, and at the same time, help them to develop their career path. I think this will be very helpful to them. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Thank you for your time and effort to give us a wonderful speech. And we be,、uh, I, I, when next time when I go to your university, definitely I will not take your shuttle bus and walk. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, thank bye. you, Kevin. Yeah. Thank、okay. you.、Bye.